morning guys so Lindsay and I are in a yellow cab it is day five day five of the holiday and um, this is our last like full day it's gonna be action-packed and amazing so we're starting off this morning with the Gossip Girl tour so Lindsay and I are very very excited about we this are. Um, we did film the Gossip Girl tag on your channel yes yes so uh -huh. I'll link that up below as well if you want to indulge in more Gossip Girl chat because um, I imagine I'm gonna put Gossip Girl tour in the description and that's gonna possibly bring a few of you here um, so yeah, that's what we're off to do this morning. I'm so excited about it and yeah, we'll see where the day takes us. So we have now arrived. Our taxi was like very stressful because it seemed to go in so slowly and we were debating do we just get out and walk and right as we were about to get out, the traffic cleared and it moved and it went about 15 blocks in the space that it just needed to go about four blocks. It was great. So we're here and we're in front of the New York Palace Hotel. So I stayed here the last time I was in New York, so you Did might you? yeah, so oh, you might recognise that from my vlogs. Oh. But it was getting work done on it, so the courtyard was covered up at the top. So there is a bit in the vlog where I walk through it, and I'm like, oh look, that's where Lily and Dan stood like after he'd seen her with Bart, and like this is where Sadina did this. Um, but you can see it a lot, lot better mm -hmm. now without the the thing over the top. Um, so yeah, that's it there, and I'm very excited to go on this tour. Just up the other side, and through there you can kind of see that's the door where Lily and Bart were having their thing and Dan saw them, and yeah, so very exciting. We've just been told to move over to this side because we paid a whole $6 extra or something like that for priority seating, so we knew we would get a good seat. And then, so now we're feeling quite swish, being like, you hey guys can line up on the other side. Like, but we're also vlogging right now, so people might think that we're famous YouTubers. Well, obviously. Here in New York. Hey guys, so we're at the first stop in the tour. I did try to sneakily film. You're not actually allowed to film on the bus, so I tried to sneakily do some. But this is our first stop. And it's the Museum of the City of New York, which is one of the locations used as the front of Constance. So the other one, which I did try to film for you, but I at least did take pictures, so I'll insert the pictures. Um, so I'll insert the pictures even if the film didn't work out, is like the more kind of instantly recognisable one with the two kind of the stairs that come down and meet in the middle um, but this is the, the alternative. So we're, all, we're off the tour but yeah the tour guide one of the first things she did was be like we need to assess like what kind of bus we've got no. so we were thinking it was going to be like well I was thinking it was going to be day or chair shepherds like because that to me yeah. is the big divide of Gossip Girl um, but it was like are you a, a Dan a not a, a, a nut? <laughs> <laughs> <Do peanuts. laughs> Just incidentally, we're gonna be giving out snacks later. <laughs> I've done a chocolate and a heat man. We're we're overwhelmingly a chalk bus. Um, apart from Lindsay, who's a Dan, well, there's ten people who are Nate fans, but Lindsay's a Dan fan. She didn't even see Lindsay raise her hand. She was like, not even one. It was like, not even one lonely fan for a lonely boy. So this is this is lonely fan. I'm the lonely fan. And this is what I'm saying though. Chuck is a character I find very sexy, but aesthetically, like Dan is clear towards the end when he's got curly hair. Dan's number one. Hey guys, so we're on our next stop, and we are at the steps of the Met. Well, we're at the Met. But for Gossip Girl, the location is the steps of the Met. Um, but it's just, again, this was on my last vlog from New York, but it was getting work done on, it, done on it, same as the hotel, so you didn't really get the full view of it. So here is the most impressive building in the world. And I feel like it just looks exactly the same as any other impressive looking building in London or Glasgow or Edinburgh. But trust me when I say it's beautiful and it's really, really special in real life. So it's always worth a visit to the Met. And there's Lindsay. I'm so excited. <laughs> so excited. So here's the Met from kind of slightly nearer the front. So, well, in front of it. Just so you get a better idea. So we just got off the bus, there was a stop for Dylan's candy bar, but we went there yesterday. So we went across onto Lexington to go to Sprinkles. I get a cin- oh, you can't really see because it's got paper on it, but I get a cinnamon sugar cookie, uh, cinnamon sugar cupcake, which I'm very excited about. There we go, that's it with no paper over the top. I'll take it out later and show you properly, but I'm excited about this. So we're on another stop in the tour and it is 
So I don't know if you can see that at all. It's the Empire Hotel. Um, it's really dark inside and I kind of felt a little bit weird about vlogging. I think it took a quick pan round though, so I might insert that here. Um, we took some pictures of Lindsay, so if nothing else, I'll get them off of her and insert them. But, but just over from the Empire is... The Lincoln Centre, which is where the ballet and the opera and things all are. So this is very, like, famous thing that you've seen a million times. But this is the little park where Chuck and Blair stood and he, like, announced that he was going to, like, really do it and, like, bought the Empire and he was going to, you know, try it and she was supportive and she was wearing a horrible, horrible mm. lilac top. And they did a lot of lilac eyeshadow on her in yeah. the later seasons that I was also not a fan of. Um, but, but, you know, that aside... That is that park. Hey guys, so we're now at the top of the Empire State Building now. If the Empire State and Top of the Rock hadn't been there as long and um, included in our past, I don't think we'd have bothered paying to do both. But actually, now that we've done both, they are so different, the two of you. It's yeah, real, yeah. I think. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, we definitely, definitely do yeah. both. If you're coming, you should actually do both. Especially if you can get like pass or something, um, because they're such completely contrasting ways to look at the city. So I'm going to take you out and um, show you what I'm talking about. So this is downtown, so you can see the Freedom Tower, the kind of financial district. Down there. You've got the flat iron building. You can see how like incredibly tiny it all looks from up here. Um, and our hotel's down there somewhere, <laughs> Lauren did spot it, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> Ultimately, you've seen this. This is the east side, so you can see the river. But I think this is potentially my favourite thing, is that you get a really nice view of the Chrysler building. At the top of the rock, that's kind of really obscured by the MetLife building. Um, and I just think it's so beautiful. Our tickets would actually get us up here for a second visit tonight to see it all lit up and stuff if we had time but I don't think we're going to have time because we've got so much to do. So we're in a little place on 33rd and 5th called Little Italy Pizza. Um, I'm sorry, I'm still looking up there. Um, but yeah, so this had actually been on somebody's vlog and now I can't remember. I watched so many vlogs and wrote down so many recommendations of like where people like going and stuff. So I can't, I want to say it was a lovely girly bit of the vlog, but I wouldn't want to swear to that. So potentially there, but somebody um, vlogged this and said this is really, really good and it had good reviews on Yelp or TripAdvisor or whatever I looked at. So it's like just a super cheap grab place, like genuine New york -y pizza place. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited and they've got ice cream cookie sandwiches in the freezer so I'm definitely having one of them after. And no, no matter what pizza I have, the desserts decided on. We are so tired, definitely like all the walking has caught up with us and we've like literally, we've been sat on a bus most of the morning and we got here and we're like, oh I'm so excited to sit down. It's like, you've only been your feet. Like we got off our tour at one inch and it's now like just going on four o'clock. We've only been their feet for three hours, that's not not that long. But it just, I don't know, I don't know if maybe because it was so cold up at the top of the Empire State Building as well, that sort of seeps into your bones yeah. and if you're already feeling a bit tired it then kind of emphasises that, that it definitely. Tired. Hey guys, so we are down on 23rd Street between Madison and 5th. We're not really stopping here, we're just walking by but I just want to show you this view. And I think it's one of these things that's not going to translate on camera at all. Like, but it's really lovely. There's a bus, that's not what I was trying to show you. Um, <laughs> But like, look at the little park, and it's got the lights and the little star, and then the Empire State. It's like up there through the trees, and it's just a really nice little scene. I don't think it translates, but it is lovely, and you should come down and look here, or try and have this on a walk from somewhere to somewhere else, because um, it's really pretty. But that's one of the things I'm like, I'm most happy in this, because, focus. Because, like, I'm saying this, Lindsay, because before, I've always kind of come with my grand or my family. We take a lot of taxis, we stay very uptown, like midtown, uptown, never been to the west side of the city, don't spend a lot of time downtown, and I feel like we've really explored this area, probably because we're staying further down than I've ever stayed before, and it's been really cool, and I really like that I've spent 
more time downtown and more time on the west side and I feel like this trip's just been really good for that so I'm really I've seen a lot of different bits yeah we like have whether we've walked or got to the subway or whatever to a lot of different areas yeah definitely in a short space of time so it's been good yeah. so we've got the flat iron there and the Empire State there I didn't even realise where we were yeah <laughs> guys we're in Barnes and Noble and look how cute this is it's like books that are blind dates and like so they're all different so this one's a blind date with linguistics so a Chomsky like world tour of language culture and perception insightful delight from fascinating psychological perspective lauded by Stephen Fry in the New York Times like this one which I think I might go for is blind date with southern fiction debut novel set in civil rights era New Orleans coming of age with memorable characters and family secrets where fans all the help in secret life like there's loads of different ones so like blind date with faith gone wild so southern preacher crime snakes like can you I think that's the coolest idea ever. I really, really quite fancy one.